Hi. Okay, so we're graphing using x and y intercepts when you're in standard form of a linear function. Okay, um, x and y intercepts go way further than linear functions. They go for all functions, but we just doing linear today. <laughs> so take some notes out, uh-huh, and let's get started. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Okay, how to graph using intercepts. First of all, for x-intercepts, you plug in zero for y. You solve for x. Y-intercepts is the opposite. You plug in zero for x. And solve for y. Plot both points, draw a line. If you haven't watched the video what called what is an intercept, you should watch that because that gives background knowledge to what's happening right here. Okay, so example numero uno. 4x minus 2y equals 20. So find your x-intercept. We're gonna plug in 0 for y and then we're gonna solve for x. Okay. So 4x equals 20 divided by 4 on both sides, x equals 5. So my, my x-intercept is 5 comma 0. That's my first point. My second one, we're going to do uh, y-intercepts. So we're going to get 4x minus 2y equals 20. I'm going to plug in 0 for x this time. Mm -hmm. And we're going to solve for y. 4 times 0 is 0, right? Negative 2y equals 20. Divide by negative 2, y equals negative 10. So 0 comma negative 10 is my y-intercept. So look at the difference between an x-intercept and a y-intercept. An x-intercept is number comma 0, y-intercept is 0 comma number. I always stress that when I'm teaching this because you should know how to recognize them. All right. So basically, I'm going to plot my x-intercept. So we're going to start at the origin, and we're going to go over five spaces. And I'm going to plot my y-intercept. We're going to start at the origin, and we're going to go down 10 spaces. Because remember, x-intercepts go on the x-axis. Y-intercepts go on the y-axis. Mm -hmm. Once I have them, I can graph a line. Example number two, yeah. Um, oh, sorry, x-intercepts. <laughs> we plug in zero for y. We plug in zero for y. And we simplify and solve for x. So I'm gonna get negative x minus zero. That's gonna give me uh, just negative x equals eight. So we're gonna divide by negative one because we wanna get x by itself. It's a common mistake that students forget that the negative you need to get rid of it. So x equals negative eight. So when we write our point, our point should be negative eight comma zero in parentheses. Do not forget the parentheses because that's how I know you're talking about a coordinate. You can't just put negative eight comma zero. I'm gonna think you're listing numbers. <sighs> anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. <laughs> okay, so then you have y-intercept. Your y-intercept, you're gonna plug in zero for x. Zero times a negative is zero. Zero plus two i is two i. Two i equals eight. Divide by two, divide by two, y equals cuatro. So zero comma four is my y-intercept. Again, pay attention, what do x-intercepts look like? A number comma zero. Y-intercepts look like zero comma a number. Anyway, so we are going to, of course, somebody is trying to call me right now. Stop that. Uh, uh, did that stop my recording? Hold on, guys. I will cry. Okay, no, it didn't. Hey, <laughs> Anyway, okay, so we're gonna plot the point. So we're gonna start with the um, x-intercept. So from the origin, we're going to go to the negative 8 on the x-axis. And then we're going to start with our, then we're going to do our y-intercept. And our y-intercept from the y-axis, we're just going to go up 4. And so now I have my x-intercept, I have my y-intercept, and I can draw a line. Yay. 
Example number three. I hope you're getting the hang of it. Because uh, I'm going to want you to do some on your own. Eventually. Uh, okay, x-intercept, what do you do? You plug in zero for what? Y, good job. Okay, so when I plug in zero for Y, I get two X plus zero. Um, so two X plus zero is really just two X and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna isolate X by dividing by two on both sides. So what do I get? X equals three, very good. And what is my coordinate gonna be? Three comma zero, hey, you're getting the hang of it. We love to see it. Um, let's do the y-intercept now. Okay, so two x plus y. I'm gonna plug in zero for which variable? X, good, good. And now we're gonna say two um, parentheses zero plus y. What's two times zero? Zero, good. Um, zero plus y is just gonna be y, very good. So y equals six, that's so easy. So now that y equals six, what does my coordinate look like? Zero comma six, get it, get it, get it. Now that I have both of my points, what do I do with both of my points? You're gonna graph them, yes. So we're going to plot the x-intercept first. Remember, x-intercepts go on the x-axis. So starting from the origin, I'm going to go over three. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then the y-intercept, I'm going to start at the origin, and I'm going to, y-intercepts go on the y-axis. So, hey. So I have my x-intercept, I have my y-intercept, and now I can draw a line. So this problem, x minus y equals five. Sometimes students freak out because they're like, this problem doesn't even have numbers. But you gotta think, what's the imaginary number in front of the x? It's a one. What's the imaginary number in front of y? It's a one. So just in your on your paper, put a, a one there if that makes you feel better. So we're gonna do x-intercept. We're gonna plug in zero for the y that's what you should know very good very good um and so when i simplify I get x minus zero equals five x equals five right what is my coordinate gonna look like i'm waiting five comma zero look at you okay so we're gonna do our y intercept the same thing's gonna happen x minus y equals five we're gonna plug in zero for what? For the x. Y'all, y'all, okay, I see you. So zero minus y, so I'm gonna get negative y equals five. What does that mean for me? You gotta divide by negative one, very good. So now that I'm dividing by negative one, five divided by negative one equals negative five, very good. So what is my coordinate gonna look like? zero comma negative five very good okay so we're going to um plot the points right so first the x intercept goes on the x axis so we're going to do that at the five and then the y intercept goes on the y axis so that goes to the negative five so of course we have our x intercept our y intercept and now we can draw our line yay all right, so what I would do is, is I would pause the video and see if you can do this example by yourself. So this is where you pause. Pause. I wasn't really frozen, I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> I like to try to like run some of the time and not do anything because some of y'all don't really pause the video. So I just figure if I'm not doing anything, maybe you'll actually try it on your own. I'm hoping you try it on your own. And you're making it work. Cause you got this. Okay. I'm gonna run through the next two examples super quick. So X plus Y equals zero, X plus zero, 
x equals 1, right? So my x-intercept is negative, or not negative 1, 1 comma 0. Then I have my y-intercept. I'm plugging in 0 for x. So 0 plus y, y equals 1. So my y-intercept is 0 comma 1. Boop. I'm going to plot both of my points. Draw the line. Oh, I didn't draw the line. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> you see, that was easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Um, try this one on your own. While I write something down. Okay, I hope you did it. So we have x-intercepts. We're gonna plug in. X equals four, so four comma zero. And then we have our y-intercept. Plug in zero for x. Four y equals 20, divide by four. 0 comma 5 is your y-intercept. We're plotting our points. Ta-da! You're all done. You did it. I'm proud of you. Okay. What do I say at the end of every video? Go back. Watch it, see if you could do it without my help. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your sister, tell your dad, tell your auntie, and your sister's best friend's sister. And I was.